for regard Rippy just to make the trip up to Kenton County even more. I, I don't want to miss what's in these containers. Tom opened up his containers for us to take a quick peek. Be a short video. Um, but some pretty high end on the content. This bike's called a Panther. Uh, I don't know what these are. 1970. Was that called a Spirit? I've never seen one like this. Right here, the yellow one. In person. This one here kind of reminds me of a Sprint. Yeah, a Sprint. That's X. Did a, uh, Elvis ride a Sprinter back in 58? There's a, a classic engine that looks to be a Sox engine. Here's a Panther. And a Sunbeam and a Velocet. Just sitting here in a container. And how many bikes you can fit. This is a nice container. It's, it looks to be dust free like. Even it's that nice. Uh, um, this guy's got the wood grain. So this kind of reminds me of what they're building over in Goshen, Indiana, but they're using a Honda engine. I'm not sure what you really call them, you know, if they're... But they have a logo, and then... A Velocet. A 501 Moto Moreni. We gotta see a Moto Moreni. Without a show up. A very large dirt bike from 1985. It's a 501. Not to be outdone by the 500. A matchless. The 900 trumpet. When trumpet came back into building bikes again. There you go. I wonder if that was their top of the line. They went clear though. They, they broke the 2000 cc barrier, I think. I'm trying to see what I'm going to look at because of the, the doorways, but. Peeking in the container, or. This is a wild looking container, isn't it? It look, looks like he took it in and um, optioned it out. California bike, Indian, uh, pretty unique Spitfire Special from BSA, a scooter, um, a museum bike here, um, an iron butt, did 2,600 miles in 18 months, 26,000 miles, I'm sorry. Um, but he doesn't say what year they did it in, so that would make a difference. Um, around the world bike, so to transverse the globe is over 25,000. And this bike made it around the globe, and it took him 18 months. In 1963, the, the, the bike's a 63, so. A trumpet race bike. Road racer. That'd be uh, a lot of time of looking at this. The Kenton Marble and Granite Company. It's a pretty town. It's uh, a log built home there. Cute. And a tile jet. And so, so many bikes over here. They don't take much room. Uh, a flat track bike here. Another one of these uh, custom built. Almost a survival looking military. I don't know what you would call, call these. Expert answer bike. A bike they would contract with the police department to build and sell it to them for a million dollars. A bull taco. Beautiful bull. I'm not sure on this one. 
or that one. The Honda 70, the Japanese, a Yamaha Vogel. Um, this is as close as I can get to it. A beautiful XL. Yeah, a beautiful XL back here. A lot of guys had them under the Christmas tree. It's in there pretty tight. It's a good seller for Honda. But this V Rod he has. And then he pulled one out, it looks like. Kawasaki 90. Um, a Benelli. The Yamaha Enduro, I had one of those in yellow. Uh, the XL 75 or 100. There's the Yamaha Vogel. This one says Harley Davidson. It, I'm not sure. It's even on the seat, so it's looking more and more authentic. A Honda. A Penton? No, a Premier. Asa OSSA, a Premier. I wonder what the heck. Made in Italy. Pretty beautiful dirt bike from Harley. AMF. Harley Sprint over there, but a Ducati. Um, have a couple of uh, shipping containers full of bikes over here at Brim's and a Merkel on the end. The 250 cow. Okay, a Honda or a Harley Sprint, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, they have the engine difference in that black one. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to smile looking at it. It's so funny looking. 19 and 15 Merkel. Thanks for watching. Bird Rider Repair Kitten, Ohio. Friday the 13th.